Well, good morning. Drunk too much last night. Oh, good. And a pint of lager and a bottle of red wine. Oh, it's a red wine. What's, uh, not the red wine, it was the beer that wrecked me. Oh, so we had a long day yesterday. A really long day in 36 degrees. We didn't, apart from visiting the graves, we didn't film that much. We didn't film that much on the road. Um, so I don't know what conversations I've caught or even if we all had the cameras on at the same time. Bit of a bit of an odd one yesterday with the void. We were just concentrating really on smashing the miles. Today's not too bad. Temperature's coming down a bit today, I think it's going to be about 25, 26 today, so it's a lot more manageable. I mean, yesterday there was just, there was just no breeze, no cool air coming through the jackets. It was just like an air dryer had been switched on. It was hard work. I think yesterday was probably one of the hardest rides I've ever done. I mean, we did a lot of country lanes and back roads and so we'd done nine hours in the saddle. Two hundred and thirty I think it was two hundred and thirty nine miles. I know nine hours is a long time to take to do that, but it's a long day in that heat, it really was. I mean we were drinking water and emptying our hydration packs. Oh. So I'm feeling a little bit rough this morning. Currently, half oh, past seven now. We said we'd set off about nine ish, so Goose has brought some paracetamol around, so I've had that. Everything's charged. Just need to change my memory cards. But so far, It's actually going to be another lovely day. A lovely sunny day over Chartres. So we're going to go in to see the cathedral. We're going to go to see the cathedral this morning. A little bit of a story about the cathedral. So it's going to be a little bit different to our Normandy series we did the Normandy series was it's quite different basically every corner you went round in Normandy there's a there's a story to tell where here we're kind of spending two or three days heading south to get to Limoges which is today we're heading to Limoges so we can go and see over Dorset Lane and that's going to be the main the main place we've come here to see and to tell the story about So, I mean, some of the day, some of the hours of the day, yeah, it's just crunching miles. We don't really get so much content out of that, so. I don't know how this series is going to go together, to be honest. I mean, tomorrow should be fine. We've got tom tomorrow, we've got the day off to go around over Dorset Glade. I suppose I can make, I've got a video out of the us getting on the train at the Euro Tunnel. Bit of footage from yesterday, bit of banter. But, uh, I'll see, we'll see if it comes together. So I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm doing my plan is, like last night I got to the hotel room, have a shower, Box of shorts and socks in the bin. I ain't carrying them in my panniers for the week, which have been sweating all day. So they am just being binned. Fresh pair on today, and they said again tonight I'll just bin them. 
so I'll go over with a bit more root, a bit more room. Tell you what you got me was, look at this. Went to a supermarket yesterday, obviously they them all brought beers, but I don't drink beer, I'm not a beer drinker. I like my red wine. So I got my red wine, absolutely beautiful stuff it is. I bought another bottle, two euros. <laughs> two euros for a bottle of wine. And I'm spending eight quid back at home. It's shocking. Right, I'm gonna go and get ready, finish my coffee. So what we'll be doing about breakfast. And we'll catch you up on the road. See you in a bit. Ah, good morning, YouTubers. Um, wow, look at this again. Every day we've been blessed with the weather this week. Yesterday was a bit hot. Um, 34, 35 degrees most of the day. Ooh, long old day as well. So we had nine hours in the saddle. So we did about 210-ish miles, something like that. Still not bad. It was nice, it wasn't stressful, it was nice and easy. Kept stopping for plenty of loads of water breaks. Uh, it was getting a bit warm, everyone was getting a bit dehydrated. So yeah, today is Monday, the 25th of July. Still in France, obviously. Um, move on to our next hotel today. We're gonna go on down, uh, we're the, the next hotel we go to today, we're there for two days. So that'll be a bit of a base for a couple of days, which is good. And tomorrow we're gonna go to, got, almost got a day off, we're gonna go to um, Orador Seglan, um, the village that the D Germans um, devastated. So we're going to lay a, a poppy reef and stuff down there and have a good look around. And then once we've done that, we're going to just have the day in the town. So walking around, a little bit of sightseeing, uh, have a bit of lunch, maybe a few beers because we haven't got a ride anymore because we can just walk, which will be good and have a nice little day off and a little bit of a rest. So yeah, we had a good night in the hotel here last night. It's called Kiriad. It's a Kiriad hotel. There it is. It's only a budget hotel, but it was alright. It was nice and comfy. Had um, even had a kettle in the room, so that was cool. Breakfast wasn't included, but they, be, they do do breakfast, and it looks pretty pretty mean as well. But I think uh, we're just waiting for a couple of the guys to come down. Then we're going to head on out, get some fuel. Um, get some breakfast, go to the cathedral here because the cathedral is quite, um, quite famous. Uh, get some nice pictures of the cathedral. And then we've got about 180 miles to do today but it's just a nice gentle bimble along so no rush. It is a little bit cooler today. It's expected to be about 26 today I think and cloudy but there's only a few wispies over there and up there. That size a little bit over the back, a little bit hazy. But yeah, so we should be all right. The noisy old tractor cutting the grass now. So I'll sign off for now and uh, catch up later on um, when we see something a bit more interesting. But that's my little morning vlog for you. A little bit of dirt on the lens. So yeah, having a good time, enjoying it. Being, being good, lovely bunch of lads. We all sat out last night till about midnight, I think, chatting. So in the shade a bit in the shade a little bit yes it's nice and cool in the shade just filled my cup up got my cup on my bike with my costa with my costa uh, cup in it full of ice and water did that yesterday stayed cold freezing cold for about a good three hours <laughs> so I just kept topping up the water the ice was there beautiful it was anyway enough of me waffling on uh, Catch up later when we've got something a bit more interesting to speak about. So, see you in a while. Have fun. Bye. I'll be out. Well, good morning. From Chart there. It is Monday morning. We're just going to head into Chartres and go and view the cathedral. Get some breakfast. And then we're going to head south. To Limoges, where we're in the hotel, and then tomorrow we got the day off to go and see the massacre village. So let's put the card on. Let's meet the boys. We had a good night last night in the hotel. Just come down from the hotel room, and uh, me and Piggy 
overslept a little bit. Well, oh, foot slip then. <laughs> I'm right now, I'll wait for you to come out actually. Yeah, go on then, give us a push flash. That'll do, mate, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Five point five kilometers to the cathedral. Yeah, well, we're there towards the cathedral, and we'll, you know, if there's breakfast on the way there, we'll stop there, and I'd imagine there's stuff all the way because the cathedral's right in the central central um, of the the city so I would imagine there might be stuff there as well should be a lot more open today though it's one day isn't it 26 degrees <coughs> go on Albert Yeah, should have put my cameras on them last night. Hold on a minute, is it an, is it is it another way out or no, I can't be can I? Yeah, just keep to the right, run the right one. Turning left. There's a go-kart in place there. Go. Straight over, second exit. Is it better already? Is it better? Yeah, that's the thing with them VFRs. It's so noticeable when the chain starts slapping. Back on the bike this morning. Yeah, nice cool breeze. That breeze is just perfect now. Lovely. This that, the temp temperature it is now, you could do with that all day. Yeah. Right, turning right. Monday morning. Everyone's going to work, and we're going on tour. There's the cathedral. <coughs> oh, that temperature's perfect. What's the name of this town we're in? Chartres. Okay. So this was the communication hub for the Germans. And what was it they did for the cathedral? They said they take all the windows out, did you say? Yeah, uh, when the war started, they removed all the all the glass, all the, the lead glass, uh, put it into storage, and then when the war was over, they yeah, got it all out and put every single pane back in. Yeah, at least we'll be able to breathe a bit today, won't we? It's a whole 10 degrees, 12 degrees, less than what it was yesterday. Oh, shoe. 
You're all in, are you? Yeah, I can see you. Look at their telegraph poles, they're concrete. It might have been put there by the Germans, hadn't it? Because they built everything in concrete. I think Bear could do with a trailer on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could tow that car. <laughs> I don't know whether that's give way there, I don't know. <coughs> I could have done with that yesterday, couldn't we? Yeah. Walking through there. Would have been nice coming there, wouldn't it, yesterday? Yeah. There's lifts there to go down somewhere. Oh, that's a nice love. Lovely architecture, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at that uh, mural over there with the knife, the hand holding the knife. These crossings are weird, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I said, I don't know, do you have to give way? I don't know. Right, we're turning right here. I think we're going down there by the look of it. We'll have to get a picture by that sign. Oh, he's waiting, he's waiting. Now, what was you saying, Craig? Right up there, which looks at the top of the, the spire, the window, must have been where they thought there was a sniper. What do you think up there? It's telling, it's telling us to get down here. Where are we going, boys? Where are we going? Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I was going to wait if we had to, but. There's a big misconception about the law. A lot of people don't realise that we can do what we want. <laughs> the, the law doesn't apply to us. And people seem to be getting confused about that. Look at these little old streets. What you're saying, motor had right away? Yeah. All common law does not apply. English sovereignty, isn't it? MTV sovereignty. Yeah. <laughs> cool, these are some proper little back streets, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, man, that's nice. Back in time here, aren't we? Back in time. Absolutely. You imagine how old this street is, man. It's got to be 1700s, maybe. Look at that. Oh, look at the walk, the walk through to it. Stunning. So that down there. See, it's, t it's, it's telling us. It's no entry. It's no so it's telling us to get down. I wonder if we can go through there, through that alley. No entry. They've all got no entry, mate. What we could do, park along the edge here, and then walk through. I wonder if we can go that way. It's one way, or let's get no, out of here. Go one way. Just in case we meet. A gendarme's coming the other way. Gendarmes, policemen. Is that what they call? Yeah. yeah. Call them gendarmes, yeah. Um, what about down the left there, look? No, down so that that's side. It's Craig, why don't you go left? That's what I'm thinking, through this alleyway. He could, he could have gone... Oh, is he going through? You see that, win that, that window is a bit like the Notre Dame window, isn't it? Right, so, let's say head towards the front to the cathedral. Well, there's a bike parked here outside the yard. There's some bikes parked here. What a place, isn't it? Wow. Wow. <laughs> right, so if you look on the floor, you can see the no parking signs. 
way going on the left over there. We're back over in front of the. T Stick them over there, Craig. We'll have a motorbike, so we're not going to be here long, are we? Five minutes. Yeah, so I only need to get a bit of footage from the front. You know what I should do? What if you should drive around there? Car coming around there, boys. Be careful. Why don't we just put it inside there, look? Yeah, but they've got them um, no parking on the floor. Oh, is it? In there? No, in there. Stick them in there. We're going to be five. We're going to be five minutes, aren't we? Oh, would. Yeah. You know, if someone stays with the bikes, Eddie, if someone comes, I'll stay. I don't mind. Just park, park them right by the by the curb. Just park them here, out the way. So this is it. This. Whoa, look at that. I wonder if that was it up there where they thought the German sniper was. That's beautiful, isn't it? That? Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Jeez, it's massive. I don't think I'm probably meant to be in here. It's very, very dark. Wow, look at this. Oh my life. Oh God, I hope the camera's picking this up good. Oh my life, look at that. Look at the pipes up there, the organ. Oh, man. Why don't they build things like this anymore? The architecture. Where do you see that light coming through all that stained glass? Oh my life. Well, Chartre, thank you for this. Thank you for bringing us to see this. That is beautiful. I think it was 50 years it took to build this. I might be wrong. I haven't read that for the fact, I've just overheard a couple talking, I think it was something I was reading. 50, imagine 50 years to build some. And that's it, they don't build things like this nowadays. Hang on, hang on a minute boys, hang on, shush. Say if you walk around the front, the doors are open, you can see are the they? Oh, wow, they're stunning. Oh look at the stained glass windows, wow. That is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Peggy, have you got some pictures? Oh, you can't hear, can you? Flash, you should bring your video camera around here, mate. It's gorgeous. 
inside you can see all the stained glass it's beautiful wow I know <coughs> here it says Notre Dame de Chantres yeah yes yeah, a copy mm. isn't it? I said it was like that window didn't I Look at the stained glass. When you look through, you can see the colours with all the lights shining from the other side. Oh yeah, beautiful, magnifique. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. Yeah. Have a look inside. Oh my word. No. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh. Stained glass is gorgeous. <coughs> Flash. Am I am I recording still? Am I off? Am I recording? Hey. Is that flashing hey. red? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. When you look through like Notre Dame, you can see all the, like that, it's beautiful. Oh yeah. Stunning. Just the trouble is some of this you need to be further away to get the magnificence of it, don't you? Yeah, bloody hell. That's huge. That's how long that took to build. Wow. Beautiful. Look at it up, look at it, all them the gargoyles and everything up there. Yeah. Wow. Imagine building that. All them years yeah. ago. We didn't have the technology we got like today. This what always this is what always amazes me about these places. How the bloody they have cranes and everything like we got these days. That's it, that's it. Well these probably these have been ongoing things for decades. Decades, yeah. What do you reckon to this place then? It's stunning, isn't it? Well, I've always loved this kind of stuff my life. Stunning. History is my main thing for me. This is the story of Colonel Wellborn Griffiths. All the glass from the cathedral was removed in 1939, just before the Germans invaded France. It was cleaned after the war and re-leaded before it was replaced. While the city suffered heavy damage by bombing in the course of the World War II, the cathedral was spared by an American officer who challenged the order to destroy it. Colonel Wellborn Barton Griffiths Jr. questioned the strategy of destroying the cathedral and volunteered to go behind enemy lines to find out whether the German army was occupying the cathedral and using it as an observation post. With a single enlisted soldier to assist, Griffiths proceeded to the cathedral and confirmed that the Germans were not using it. After he returned, the order to destroy the cathedral was withdrawn and the Allies later liberated the area. Griffiths was under the command of Major General Walton Walker during the campaign of France after the Normandy breakout. Initially assigned to protect the south flank and secured the bridgehead at Le Mans, and liberate Angers on the 10th of August 1944. The corps fought a successful five-day battle for Chartres from the 15th to the 19th of August and seized a bridgehead over the Orne River. Chartres was a logistic centre for the German army. By the end of August, the corps had driven across six rivers. Towns were liberated by the armour and infantry of the corps, including Chartres. This campaign, where they raced across France, prompted the Germans to name the corps the Ghost Corps. Griffiths' position as the G3 made him responsible for the mobilisation and deployment of units for combat and he was a key staff position for the corps. For Griffiths to take the stance that he did to protect the cathedral was an extraordinary decision. Here is the citation from his Distinguished Service Cross. The President of the United States of America authorised by Act of Congress July the 9th, 1918, takes pride in presenting the Distinguished Service Cross to Colonel Wellborn Barton Griffiths Jr., United States Army, 
for the extraordinary heroism in connection with military operations against an armed enemy while serving as an operations officer with Headquarters 20 Corps. In action against enemy forces on the 16th of August 1944 at Chartres and Levez, France. On the 16th of August 1944, Colonel Griffiths entered the city of Chartres, France in order to check the actual locations and dispositions of units of the 7th Armoured Division, which was occupying the city. Upon observing fire being directed at the cathedral in the centre of the city, with utter disgrace for his own safety, Colonel Griffiths, accompanied by an enlisted man, searched the cathedral and finding that there were no enemy troops within, signalled for the cessation of fire. Continuing his inspection of outlying positions north of the city, he suddenly encountered about 15 of the enemy. He fired several shots at them, then proceeded to the nearest outpost of our forces, at which point a tank was located. Arming himself with an M1 rifle and again with complete disregard for his own safety, Colonel Griffiths climbed upon the tank, directing it to the enemy forces he had located. During the advance of the tank, he was exposed to intense enemy machine gun, rifle and rocket launcher fire, and it was during this action in the vicinity of Levez, France, that he was killed. The story of Colonel Griffiths only became known in 1944 when a French amateur historian, Bertrand Papillon, investigated the American colonel who died liberating his village and who saved the beloved cathedral, not Dame de Chartres. His research uncovered the truth and he contacted Griffiths' daughter with the full story. Every year on August the 16th, flowers are placed in front of the building where he died. A plaque honouring his heroic action has also been erected on the building. Residents of Levez saw him fall and die and within hours they had him covered with a blanket, bouquets of flowers and an American flag to await the American burial. As a final and sobering note on this history, in the spring of 1945, the 20th Corps liberated the German concentration camp of Buchenwald.